Hello everyone, this is Said from Amadonix and uh, I'm back with another tutorial related to uh, Linux and this time it's going to be an uh, installation guide of OpenCV or uh, Open Source Computer Vision Library on uh, Linux and uh, as you might know that uh, OpenCV has released a new version just in Christmas of uh, 2015 and the new version is called 3.1 and I'm going to show you how to install it. Uh, yesterday I have uh, written a post on my website ab about this. So what all we have to do here is to follow the uh, the guides that is already there on my website. So uh, I'm just going to go over these steps. So uh, the first thing is that you you have to check that you, you have an uh, older version of OpenCV installed or not. For example, on my uh, laptop I have uh, I believe I have installed version 3 like a few months ago to check that I'm going to say uh, package config uh, mod version OpenCV and it tells me that I have OpenCV version 3 installed so in the first part of the uh, my article uh, it's about if you have the old version how to uh, get rid of it or how to remove it uh, uh, if you have installed it from the uh, package manager, uh, it's going to be as easy as of uh, removing it using the package manager itself, of course. So, if you are on Ubuntu, uh, you can uh, try with sudo apt-get remove the uh, name of the library of OpenCV, and uh, you put this a star because it will tell that er every every package that is related to this uh, should be deleted. And the second line is just to make sure that uh, you really have uh, removed any package uh, that is uh, has something to do with OpenCV. And the second uh, method is uh, if you have installed it from source. Uh, this is what I did a few months ago. And uh, it's going to be also easy. You have to just uh, use the make uninstall command. So I'm going to remove mine. Uh, going to my terminal I believe that I installed in my uh, opt folder under OpenCV OpenCV3 yes okay so all I need to do is to go to the uh, the folder that I built the source there it was a release folder And all I need to do is as simple as uh, sudo make uninstall and my password. So it's going to uh, remove itself. It's going to be quite easy. Now I'm going to uh, check it again uh, with package config. And it says that okay, uh, the package config cannot find OpenCV, and uh, it means that I have removed the uh, old version of OpenCV on my uh, laptop. And the third way, or the third method, uh, is that if you don't know or uh, if you are unable to unable to remove your OpenCV, is to use this command. But I have warned you here: if you want to uh, perform this command, it will remove anything any file name that has OpenCV in its name. So please do this on your own uh, li risk and uh, if you're really not sure uh, it's going to screw up your uh, workspace, you can make an image of your hard disk and always return back to the uh, previous state. Okay, after removing it, it's going to be uh, a matter of downloading the source from the Git repository and uh, compiling it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So preparation. So first thing you need to do is to uh, make sure that you have all the necessary tools to build uh, OpenCV from source. The first thing is of course the GCC and uh, other kind of uh, comp compilation tools. So you can uh, make sure that you have them by uh, executing this command sudo apt-get build essential. Uh, and after that, OpenCV relies on uh, a series of uh, 
packages, other packages that you have to uh, have prior to uh, starting to compile it. And you can find them here. So this will be as easy of uh, copying this line and uh, executing it in your uh, terminal. Then there are some uh, optional packages like Python uh, and stuff. I'm not really interested in this one because I use C++ for my work with OpenCV. But if you want, you can uh, install these optional packages as well. So after making sure that you have all the necessary packages and build tools, it's going to be as easy of uh, cloning the repository of Open OpenCV from the GitHub. So I'm going to do this for now. And I'm going to do this in my opt folder. I'm going one folder back, just and you can see that I am in my inside my uh, opt folder. So the first thing I want to do is to remove the uh, old uh, folder for the OpenCV. I'm going to say remove recursive first open CV and it will uh, remove the OpenCV. And I'm going to clone it from the Git repository. And the nice thing about uh, cloning it from the Git repository is that whenever a new version comes, you just uh, update your local uh, uh, copy of the repository by uh, saying something like git pull, as easy as that. So uh, let me do this. Git clone then the address to the uh, repository of OpenCV. Okay, it's gonna clone it. It's gonna take a while because I believe it's like uh, something like 100 megabytes. While it's being downloaded, I'm going back to the uh, article. And uh, another thing that you might be interested in, uh, there are a lot of uh, extra packages for uh, OpenCV, which is uh, named Contrib. I don't know what is what it is what is it stands for, but I. I believe contrib means contributions or something. Uh, anyway, if you are interested in these extra packages, uh, you can also uh, download it from the uh, Git repository. So the link is here. I'm going to copy it. Copy this. I'm going back to my terminal. And it seems that the uh, it's being slowly downloaded the original uh, source uh, repository. Hopefully it will be downloaded right now. It's at 86% at the moment. So uh, please bear with me. Come on, man. Okay. It's almost there. And uh, just to remind you, uh, the first one is the uh, source code for the OpenCV itself. And the second one is the uh, source code for the uh, extra packages or modules, so to speak. OK, the OpenCV has been downloaded. I'm going to list my uh, folder. And it's right here, OpenCV. OK, I'm going to. Uh, Download the uh, country uh, uh, repository. This should take faster because it's a smaller uh, repository, hopefully. And while it's being downloaded, the next step will be uh, going to each folder that you have downloaded. At the end, uh, after this step, you should have two folders. Uh, one is the OpenCV itself. And the other one will be named OpenCV open underscore country. So you have to go to each directory and make sure that you check out the branch for uh, version 3.1.0. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do that. OK, I want to show you again that uh, we have downloaded the OpenCV uh, repository and OpenCV underscore country. So I'm going to OpenCV. And I'm going to say uh, git checkout uh, 3.10. So 
So it will make sure that uh, my current branch is 3.1. I'm going to uh, the country folder also. Country. I also say git checkout 3.1.0. And it is important that you uh, make sure that the both uh, repositories are on the same branch, 3.1.0. So, after this, uh, we have to do some uh, configuration using CMake. It's going to be a really easy step. Uh, you know, at the moment I'm in the OpenCV underscore country. I'm going back to the OpenCV folder. And I'm going to uh, make a directory to uh, output the compilations in that directory. So I'm going to say make there uh, release. Okay. And I'm going to this directory. Go back to the article. So uh, now we have to do the CMake here. I will explain to you what are these uh, options are. Uh, okay, this this is a bit tricky. Mm. And please make sure that you uh, copy also these two uh, dots at the end. And I will tell you why uh, they are there. Okay, copy this. Close. Going back to the terminal. Clear. Okay, we're doing a CMA command dash D, and we set some uh, build options. Uh, the first one, CMake build type, will be release. So we want a release version of the OpenCV, so it will uh, remove some uh, debugging overheads from the library. Then uh, there's the option of CMake install prefix, and we will tell it to uh, install it in the slash user slash uh, local folder, and th that is uh, where most of the shared libraries uh, um, exist and the last option is to open CV extra modules path and here we have to specify the path to the uh, uh, the second uh, repository that we downloaded which was uh, which was uh, open CV underscore country so you want to set this to a slash opt or uh, whichever uh, root folder you have choose slash open CV underscore country slash modules and these two last dots at the end tells the CMake that uh, where are the source codes. And uh, if you know uh, Unix file system, the two dots means that uh, a folder about the current folder. So I'm going to uh, press enter. Uh, it will uh, check everything that uh, might uh, be necessary for the compilation. And after that, it's going to be a simple step of making the the, uh, from the source code. Okay. I think the CMake is downloading some packages to help the compilation. And hopefully my internet is not going to uh, disappoint me. Come on. Hello. Okay, so after that, we just need to uh, call make, and after that, sudo make install. But I should warn you because the uh, make step will take a lot of time depending on your processing power. I'm on all, uh, old laptop, a dual core one. It I think it will take like one hour, but. No worries. Okay, the CMake is done. And all I need to do is to call make and press enter. So, as you can see, it's going to compile itself. And it will take, uh, I think, the last time I compiled the version 3, it took like one hour. Anyway, uh, I will pause the video and I will come back to you whenever it's, it has finished the uh, compilation. And if I faced any problem, uh, I will see how we can solve it. 
so uh, for now I will pause the video and I will come back soon all right guys I'm back and unfortunately I had a problem compiling the OpenCV and uh, my problem is I think it will be specifically to me because I have a different version of FFmpeg uh, video library installed on my system and uh, there's like 99% chance that you won't face this problem but if you face this problem and you got the error like this linking say C++ shared library against uh, libopencv video I.O. Uh, all you have to do is to uh, remove your uh, FFmpeg if you have it installed and uh, install the newest version of the FFmpeg uh, so uh, I'm going to do that and if you don't know how to do that you can ask me uh, in my website or uh, leave a comment on the uh, um, uh, YouTube page and I will tell you how to but uh, I will uh, solve this problem and uh, I will continue with the uh, compilation. So uh, I will be back very soon. All right, guys, I'm back and I've installed uh, the newest version of FFmpeg with some uh, directives. I think there were some issues between uh, GPL and BSD licenses. And I'm going back to. Uh, uh, I, I want to tell you that I've made a video of that. Uh, uh, installing FFmpeg and I will upload it so if you f uh, face the same problem you can uh, watch that video I will uh, link it in the video description so let's go back to OpenCV uh, release folder and let's uh, make again okay I think it passed that point so I think the compilation will continue just fine and uh, when it's done I will come back to you guys all right guys and uh, I'm back and uh, luckily this time everything went smooth and uh, uh, the compilation was done without any problems so to wrap it up uh, the only problem we faced or I faced was the problem with the FFmpeg libraries and uh, I simply solved that by uh, installing version uh, 2.9 uh, which is still in development mode and I have uploaded a, I will upload a video uh, about how to install the uh, FFmpeg from source if you uh, if you face the same problem you can check that out I will put a link in the video description and now that we are done we we are only left with the last step which is uh, uh, installing it and it's nothing more than uh, uh, copying the uh, output libraries to the uh, slash user slash local folder so I'm going to say sodo make install and it will copy everything to the uh, proper paths and after that we can check if it is really installed or not by using a uh, package config so let's see package config mod version opencv and yes we have 3.1.0 and uh, that's all for now and uh, let's oh no uh, just one more thing let's see uh, which modules have been installed for it i'm going to list all packages install uh, then grab and CV so everything is installed fine and yeah that's it so if you had any other problems that I uh, that we couldn't see in this video you can just uh, come to my website and put a comment or you can also comment on my uh, on the video and hopefully it was useful for you and uh, I'm planning to do some tutorials on using OpenCV in conjunction with uh, Qt libraries like Qt Quick to do some uh, fancy tasks. And uh, well, I think that's all for uh, today. And uh, see you later.